She complains about this shit, but she always shows up. <laughs> Keep coming back. Just like today. Why do I do this? <laughs> Hi everyone, Paul Richmond here. Welcome to my brand new show called Painting with Friends. And here she is, my friend, Melissa Foreman. Say hello to the people. Hi guys! <laughs> <laughs> Melissa and I go way back and we're going to tell some stories and we're going to paint a little picture together today. Mm -hmm. What would you like to paint, Melissa? Oh god. Um, alright. Well, I'll do her face. Okay. We're going to kind of do like a floral dolly, right? Okay. Flowers. Yes. For her hair. What's so, the lady's name with the fruit on her head? Carmen Miranda. Yes, Carmen Miranda Dolly. So if you're admiring our look, Melissa got into town last night and she brought <laughs> fake tattoos and nail polish mm -hmm. for us. Oh, that's her head there and she's facing... Down. You're just oh. now figuring this out. So this is all flowers. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd give you the, the <laughs> bulk of the work to do. <laughs> that is nothing new. Melissa and I had a mural painting business together right after we graduated from college. We were up on scaffolding, yes. painting ceilings, painting all kinds of crazy stuff. Yes, we actually had to construct our own scaffolding, which is interesting, <laughs> since neither one of us knew, knew how to use a hammer or a screwdriver. <laughs> but I was really good with the stud finder. <laughs> I do remember that I kind of glommed on to you our senior year of Yes, college. I think that was that was your plan. That's my advice for all of you young artists out there. It's always tempting to go hang out with the people who are worse than you because it makes you feel good about yourself. <laughs> well, maybe that's what you do. I'm not going to think too hard about that. But my approach was to find the people who were amazing and then stick with them. No, I think it started when you were doing the Prairie Lincoln. Oh, yes. Murals, murals at this elementary, elementary school. school. And then after hours, we would sneak into the gym and try and... <laughs> oh, and we went down the hall on the scooters. <laughs> yes. Let's tell the people at home a little bit about you in case they are not familiar yet. What kind of art do you do? I do a lot of photorealistic oil paintings, and then I'm also a graphic designer, so I do a lot of design for commercial products and things like that. Melissa was the first person that I told mm -hmm. that I was gay. I had read this book the night before about a gay guy, and I was like, oh, that's me. <laughs> Are you serious? I mean, there have been other clues. What <laughs> you think? It was when I read that book, I was like, oh, duh, I'm gay. And then the next day, I showed up to work with her. Mm -hmm. I was like, Melissa, I've got something to tell you. <laughs> Yes. And I remember you were so nervous because you knew what I was going to say. Yeah. But you were like... We all knew it. But he had pretended for years. Right. He had crushes on girls and he would talk about them <laughs> constantly. I was committed to the role. I mean, I wasn't good at the role, but <laughs> I was committed. We uh, were painting the mural. She was down in the corner painting on the wall and she wouldn't look at me. I remember I was like... Really? Yeah, you were like, okay, we, tell me, but... I'm just not gonna like look at you because you didn't want to react wrong. All right, well I'm done with my part. I I don't know what's taking you so long. <laughs> Start painting, buddy. <clears throat> Melissa and I were painting a mural in a bank. I was having a hard time focusing because there was a cute guy working behind the counter, so I was <laughs> making sure I was available. This man was definitely straight. Melissa, you don't know. We had to paint all this stuff from the town. Firefighters and policemen and the town flower and... Wasn't it like a covered bridge or something? Yeah, too? it was like a bunch of It was like a town stuff. seal in the middle and then it had people on the sides like flanking the... Fire. I think you designed this. You were a little over... <laughs> a little overboard. I finally did turn around and I was trying to paint and I, you know, was a little distracted and I was wanting to impress this guy and all I had to do was paint this flower, this violet. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, she had painted five people <laughs> and all the- Like this, life size, huh? And I'm just trying to paint this one stupid flower and I couldn't get it. It looked terrible. Every, like every petal. Oh. I just got so pissed because I kept looking over at her <laughs> and everything she painted was perfect. We're up on the scaffolding 
And I just looked over at her and I was like, damn it, could you just paint something that doesn't look good? <laughs> I'm gonna push you off the scaffold. Yes, we're at least 10 feet up in the air. So one of my favorite things to do is to take Melissa out of her comfort zone a little. And back in our mural painting days, one of the ways that I did that was I made her audition to be in a movie. Do you remember? <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> you see, Melissa tends to be a bit of a perfectionist sometimes. And so it's particularly fun for me to make Melissa do things that she's not necessarily the best at. We show up, we had to fill out this form, yes. and it asked for your previous acting experience. Yes. I wrote down, I pretended to be straight for 21 years. <laughs> very convincing. Well, they didn't ask if, if, if you were good in, in the <laughs> right. role. We go in, and the movie is some kind of detective slash thriller slash horror film. They want me to play this macho guy who is somehow, he's a lawyer, or a doctor, he's a doctor. Oh yeah, the doctor was first. And you were some bimbo floozy, I think. I was! And we were in the scene together, and we're supposed to be like in this hotel room. We're reading off our scripts. She didn't know I'm a doctor. And so I say, so I'm a doctor. And then would you like to go ahead and show the people what your response <laughs> oh, was? Okay, so I, I, I have to get into character. Right, right, right. Me too. Mm -hmm. Tough, angry. So I'm a doctor. Jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa and I like to switch sides often when we're working on a project together so she can fix everything that I've been. Mop up your mess. <laughs> she can get hung up on details. On doing a good job? <laughs> well, we were painting a mural. It was a landscape, right? Yeah. One of us. Yeah. Paul, <laughs> yeah. when you were trying to help me, decided that you would take a paintbrush with orange paint on it <laughs> and run up and down the wall saying, Melissa, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't that help you? No! <laughs> no, Melissa's contributions to our business always were a little bit more in the area of making it look perfect. <laughs> and my contributions were getting us into situations that were crazy. You are very good at that. Like the time that I decided we needed to go to Tennessee and paint a 200 foot long mural. <laughs> At Dollywood. That's probably not something you would have done on your own. I probably would not have come up with that one. They had not even asked for this. One day when we were a little like slow on business, called them. <laughs> I doubt we were even slow. No, but this I just... This was just your dream. I just called them and I was like, hey. Call it Dolly World. <laughs> Dollywood. Dollywood. Jesus. Yo, Dollywood. Just wondering if you had any need for any murals. He said, actually, yeah, we do need a mural. We need something for the entrance, the wall that you first see when you pull into the parking lot at Dollywood. It's kind of like painting a mural at Heaven's Gate. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> I was like, okay, we'll be there tomorrow. Didn't clear this with the boss over here <laughs> first. Sure enough, the next morning, bright and early, because we had like an eight hour drive, showed up at her apartment to pick her up. And off we went. He loved our work. Your work. See what I did for you? I know. See what my well, perfectionism but, does yeah, yes, for you. Yes, but, uh, but then you blew it. So he loved our work. And he said, we need to paint this 200 foot long mural of Dolly on this wall. And we need you to do it in the middle of winter when the park is closed. In the winter, in the mountains. And I was like, okay, sure, no problem. <laughs> and he was like, you know, you'll have to live here at Dollywood. You can stay in this hotel on the park. I was ready to move in that day. <laughs> and Melissa starts to pipe in from next to me like, I, I did not. Yes, you surely did. I did you were not. like, I don't know if we can paint <laughs> outside in the freezing cold. I was just like, shh, we'll work it out. He gave us passes to to spend the day at the park. We went in and looked at the museum of all of Dolly's wigs and dresses. Yes, we did. Wasn't that inspiring mm, for you? Yeah. Everywhere where you go in Dollywood, there's Dolly music playing, there's Dolly gifts being sold. It's all Dolly. There are some interesting people there as well. <laughs> it attracts an interesting clientele. Like that lady with the skunk on her shoulder? <laughs> she was yeah, nice. She was Great. Melissa was getting a little annoyed. She was also vegan at the time and you couldn't order like anything to eat anywhere there that didn't have bacon a steak on it. I'd like a salad, hold the steak, please. Yes. <laughs> I was like, okay, well you can pick what we do next. Go home. <laughs> and Melissa was like, I don't care. Something that is less dolly. And I was like, well, okay, your choice. Good luck. <laughs> and so she picks this motion simulator ride where you go to the movie theater and the seats move and you watch something on the screen. The ride starts, and we're all strapped in, 
and then off the screen, and we're supposed Strapped to be like, in. we're saying, it's like a straight jacket, it's a dolly mental institution. The whole concept is you're supposed to be on this plane going through the mountains. Guess who the pilot was <laughs> in the video? It was Dolly! <laughs> yes. And every time the plane would make a turn, she would squeal. Yes, on a video with like a flight helmet. <laughs> My queen. <laughs> Little hoses were rising up in front of each of our seats. Just as our plane crashed into the water, freezing cold water blasted out of the hoses and drenched all of us. It's so horrible. Yeah, she made us quote, too high of a price because she wasn't thrilled about the idea of no. having to move to Dollywood. I think they were still deciding what they wanted and if they wanted to pay for it. Well, they certainly didn't want to pay for it once they heard the <laughs> price. Melissa and I did a project together last year that was kind of crazy. We were visiting artists for a week at Cornell University. Made a big art installation out of post-it notes. Mm -hmm. 6,000 post-it notes, is that yeah. what it was? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have any words for our loyal viewers? See, I think if you just make one or two of the flowers look good, then it would be okay to just have some ugly ones too. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm painting right now. Do we need like a big thing? Is this gonna be something? I don't know. I think I had another flower here, but. Uh, yeah, just like that. It's lovely. Do we just want like stringy woo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Now that's what it needed. So, Melissa and I used to go to Kinko's a lot to plan our murals and stuff. Mm -hmm. And there was this hot guy that worked at Kinko's, who Melissa kind of had a thing for. Yes, well we saw him one time and I thought he was cute. That's what I just said. I like my version better. <laughs> so yeah, Melissa was casually checking out this guy who worked at Kinko's. Well, we were in, we were in Kinko's and we saw him for the first time. And See, I knew if I told the story wrong, you would jump in. I mentioned to you in the car that I, there was a cute guy in Kinko's. Like I hadn't noticed. <laughs> and he said, Melissa? I am not moving this car until you go back in and you <laughs> give that boy your phone number. But it all worked out. It all worked out. You've been married, married for how long? I'm going to get in trouble here. Oh! 2013. So almost we've been three to, years. We've been together for... Together for 12 years. We're old. Why is it red? I'm working on it. You see, now I dressed for this occasion with my flower and sparkles and I didn't want you to feel left out oh my so God. I brought you a little present. <laughs> there you go. Now I'm a little jealous that you look more fancy than me but... Oh, it hurts to be beautiful. And why am I wearing this hat? I was just remembering another funny story from our mural days. Do you remember? We were painting and there was this hot guy and I wanted him to like me, but he was very kind of like sophisticated. We liked to listen to books on tape while we worked. Was it me who picked this out or you? I oh, remember. it had to be you. Somehow we ended up with Anne Heche's autobiography. Yes. That was the lady that was Ellen DeGeneres' first Girlfriend? wife, girlfriend, whatever. Were they married? I don't know. You'd think we listened to her freaking life story. Right <laughs> I know, now. we should know this. Uh, she had some issues, I guess. Well, like abuse, right? Yes. In her childhood? Yeah. So she went through a lot. Right. We're both up on scaffolding. The, the um, CD player was down on the ground. This guy who I was wanting to impress comes walking in just as Anne Heche is talking about how she was having some kind of breakdown over and over again. She was just screaming, <laughs> I am shit, like screaming it. I never did get to go out with that guy. <laughs> yeah, for some reason he wasn't interested. Wow. Okay, Paul. Really? Yes. Sign. Over. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Your credit is the lead. Ta -da! <laughs> Ta -da! <laughs> Here it is, our finished masterpiece. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. And while you're at it, like and subscribe because there's going to be a lot more friends. None of them as cool as you though, Melissa. Of course. Bye! Bye. Melissa, why don't you tell us a little about how your artistic training has helped prepare you for your work as a post-it note mural artist? <laughs>
Hey everyone, Paul Richmond here. Have you noticed lately that a lot of Republican politicians can't stop talking about bathrooms? They are scared shitless that a transgender person might be in the stall next to them and they want you to be afraid too.